Welcome back everybody. Today I am showing you just how easy it is to pressure can corn and I'm also sharing the best creamy corn salsa recipe. So let's get started. I'm just setting up my canner with just a few inches of water in it and I'm putting it on the stove to get hot while I prepare. So here I am preparing my mason jars and um, I have like a bunch of mason jars I keep in a closet. And then I also have this green bag where I keep a lot of extra bands and lids available and I can pull out anytime I'm canning something new. So here's a box of lids that I'm throwing away. I think I got these from the dollar store and they're just terrible. So word to the wise. I'm also pulling out my jar grabbers, my uh, bubble breaker funnel, and I'm using some canning salt for this recipe. Now you guys probably know I love to use my electric kettle for any recipes needing hot water rather than going through the trouble of heating water on the stove. Yesterday, I already shucked 20 ears of corn and cut it off the cob, and here it is, prepared for this recipe. All we really need to do is start loading it into the jars. You don't wanna pack it down, you just wanna load it in loosely, and that's what I'm doing here. There's still some silks from the corn that I'm just picking out whenever I see them here or there. I also want to give a huge shout out and thanks to my aunt who went to the um, local Yupik farm and got this for me. And I really appreciate her. It is so fresh and delicious. I am so happy I'm gonna be able to preserve this at home. Okay, I just need a couple more jars to be able to fit it all. I think that the 20 ears of corn ended up to be around 11 pint jars in the canner. In goes the salt. This is just for taste. It does not affect the preservation, but I like to use canning salt so it doesn't cloud up in the jars. And now we just fill with water, leaving about a half an inch of headspace. Now I'm wiping down all the rims of the jars, which is a really important step, but you'll see in just a moment that I forgot to get the air bubbles out of the jar. So I'll have to go back and do that here in a little bit.
uh, the moment of realization. <laughs> so I'll be using my tool to get the air bubbles out. I have to take all of these uh, lids and bands off and then wipe the rims again and put them all back on. But that's okay. At least I remember before they went in the canner. Okay, the canner is hot and ready to go. We're putting hot jars into the hot canner. So here's a couple of jars of corn that I can last year, June of 2022, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the salsa with these. So first, listen for the seal. It sealed so well over a year ago. It still smells so fresh and tastes delicious. I love preserving food this way. This is a recipe from my sister-in-law, Mallory. It's one of my favorites. I've made a couple changes to it, but it's largely the way that she taught me. We're just gonna strain this corn to get started. Next up, I am using sharp cheddar cheese, some Greek yogurt, and some mayonnaise. I'm also getting my spices out. I'm using cumin, smoked paprika, and garlic. I'm also gonna be dicing up some jalapeno and red onion. If you had cilantro, that would be a great addition to this as well, but my grocery store was out of it. Shout out to my other sister-in-law, Tran, who gifted me this amazing chef knife. It is the nicest knife I've ever had and works wonderfully. Those are diced up nicely, and now I'm adding some salt and the other spices. I'm really just eyeballing it here. I do use a quarter of a teaspoon measure, but I just kind of uh, add what I feel with my heart at the time. Oh, also some, um, some large uh, pepper flakes, love those. And yeah, I just kind of went for it with the garlic like I normally do. Uh, returning to our canning project, I'm just checking the canner. It's been venting steam for 10 minutes, so now we can add the weight. These pints of corn will can for 55 minutes at 11 pounds of pressure. And now I'm gonna go back to the salsa. I'm adding at least two cups of very sharp cheddar. Uh, the recipe usually calls for about two parts sour cream to one part mayonnaise, but I am using Greek yogurt because I had it on hand already and didn't want it to go to waste. It's also very tangy and complements this recipe quite well.
If you're from the South, you know that it just absolutely has to be Duke's mayonnaise. The juice of one lime brings it all together. for the taste test. I don't know about you guys, but I'm almost always adding more garlic and more salt to pretty much any recipe that I make. Perfection achieved. Husband and baby are happy about it too. <laughs> Checking back in with our canner. We're trying to keep it at 11 pounds. Make sure you watch your canner and just keep it around the pressure that you need. 55 minutes later, we're done and these are ready to cool down. It's important that you let the pressure come down on its own and the canner cool without bothering it or opening it. And that's what I've done. This is footage is of the next morning of me taking these jars out and they just look beautiful. And I'm always just filled with pride uh, to know that I can preserve food for my family in this way. And it's so much better than what you can get at the grocery store. So next up, I'm going to be pressing the tops of each lid to make sure that these have sealed up well. All of them sealed. This is another thing you wanna wait till the next day to do so you don't have any false seals. And then I will be removing the bands and labeling and storing them. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you see how easy it is to can corn. I hope you'll try the recipe. And all as always, I just want to thank you for being here at my channel. Please subscribe because I've got a lot more videos like this coming.